Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Once again, I'm in New Braunfels, Texas, one of my favorite Texas Hill Country towns, and we're in a community that features one of my favorite builders, Chesmar Homes. Now, most of my videos, the homes are 500,000 and up, and not everybody can afford that. That's why it's important to know where those communities are that are building in the 350 to 450 range, and that's what this community checks off. We are in the community of, of uh, August Fields. We are on the east side of I-35. This is a great community with a great builder. School's right next to everything. And we're really close to actually Bucky's, the Fry Hire section. There's so much new stuff going on in this community. I really like it and I can't wait to show it off. So yeah, let's head on out front and start the tour. All right, the plan we're looking at today is the Ava plan. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 193100 square feet. So it's really a good size for someone not needing a big house. Uh, I-35 is just on the other side of where these homes are. And if you are familiar with the area, um, the Fry Height uh, restaurant slash entertainment space is just about a mile down the road here. That's such a cool place to go hang out at. It was literally built in, nine, no, 18, uh, 89 so it's really cool being in a restaurant of that age got a couple of schools right around here comel isd and if you've been researching school districts you'll know that comel is an outstanding school district and there's actually distant more tax advantages speaking of taxes this community is a whopping uh low 1.77 tax rate no muds no pids so you're definitely getting a lot of bang for the buck including a quality builder like chessmar all right let's head on inside all right, this is a really nice home. Uh, it's not going to be the big grandiose home, uh, but this plan uh, base price is below 400,000. But after you do the uh, design center stuff, which I do like that Chessmar does the design center in their own garage, you pick out selections. You're probably looking at low 400s, depends on what you pick out. But they have such nice selections in all their homes, picking out their tiles and uh, stuff. One of the fun things I like to watching people do when they are picking out a Chessmar home is when they pick out, especially the flooring, well, they'll get the tiles and they'll kind of go out here and lay it along the walls and just kind of get a really good idea. You can't quite do that if you're going to a design center. You can't just marry it up to something to see if you like it. And Chessmar kind of saves money by doing their little in-house design center stuff too. So it kind of able to pass that savings on to you. As I'm filming this, it is 19 November, 2024. So you've got about a week and a half left if you wanna cash in on some amazing deals, especially on the quick move in homes. Uh, I'm gonna have these at the end of the slide, so don't click off on those. But this time of year, this is bargain time. Uh, builders, their executives have their brass and they don't want homes rolling over into 2025. So uh, you could always throw something at the wall and see if it sticks. All right, let's talk about this house here. Um, this would be the two car garage, but of course you notice they're using it as their design center and a sales rep office. But coming right in, you do have a bedroom right up front. Now this is the Chessmar 1.0 series. This is definitely gonna be their less expensive, but that's why they're able to keep it down in the 350s to 450 range. Uh, can have a nice size closet though but that's why we don't have like the eight foot doors throughout. But hey, you've, everyone always has to start out somewhere, but if you're gonna start out, you still wanna start out with a quality builder and Chessmar is definitely one of those uh, nice little, we're gonna have, I believe this is gonna be a Jack and Jill bathroom. Oh, damn it, toilet seat, I didn't check it. I missed this one, sorry about that. If you haven't watched my channel, you'll know that's a pet peeve of mine, but I do love the uh, tile work on here. Let's see. Yes, okay, this would go into what will be the flex room. It's not a true Jack and Jill, but we kind of a shared thing. Just make sure you click that little lock there. So in case you're doing your business and someone walks in from the flex room, you don't want to be all surprised. But yeah, here's the flex room we're talking about. This can be used as an office, a little extra media room, pool table, whatever you want to do with this room. It's really cool because you're gonna have another bedroom right off there. Also, yeah, if you've got kids and they want a room space just so they can get together and beat each other up, they can do that. And if you are building from dirt, you could probably ask Chessmar to put a door here, just blocking this off so that you'd have kid world and adult world separate. 
But yeah, there's the door we were just looking through there. This would be the common ground area. We've got a little setup for computer systems. But this would be the other bedroom. Still a good size bedroom. And um, oh wow, this is a really nice size closet here for that. So yeah, if you got two kiddos and they want their own little space, this is a really neat plan. I do like the Ava plan a lot. So if there was a door there, you come out of the door and now we're back in adult world. We're well, gonna have your laundry room right out in front of it, real convenient. They've got it set up for their copy machine now. And into the main part of the house. <clears throat> so you got your island, an okay size island. I'm not gonna say that's a big island, but hey, we're keeping we're giving it, keeping our price down. This is a gas community, it's really important. Uh, GE appliance still used here. Uh, Chesmore loves their GE appliance, and frankly, so do I. I have them in my house as well. Pantry size, you've got a really good size pantry for a house that's just below uh, 2,000 square feet. That's a good, good size pantry. And to a lot of folks, that's a deal breaker and that pantry would definitely not be a deal breaker because it's plenty of room. All right, you got a little space here for your main uh, table. Really nice. So one of the things I do, oh, I forgot to mention, this is a model home. So some of the stuff you see on the walls is just so the builder can showcase what they can do. But I do like the A-frame in this plan. The A-frame is standard, but if you wanted to put the little wood beams up there, that would be an upgrade. But I do like the natural lights. I love the lights kind of up high, so you can still have light coming in and your furniture along the walls. Um, definitely dig the linear fireplace at the 1.0 series. This would be an upgrade, but if you were able to get a 2.0 series, uh, those can be a little more expensive homes but those come standard. Talk to the sales rep and uh, I'm gonna have her information on here as well and they can share with you that stuff too. But good size yards out here. Mention how close you are to the school district. There's an elementary school right, right there. So that's real convenient if you wanted your little rugrats to be able to walk to school. But this is actually a really good size yard for new construction in this modern era where Developers don't like having big yards. They like to be able to cram as many houses as possible on there. So that's a good size yard. All right, let's go check out this master bathroom. But you can see, this is a beautifully done home. But let's check out the master bath. I love the tray ceilings. They got little wood finishing outs on the little tray. That's kind of neat. But this is a good size room. Lots of lighting in here. Uh, chest bar does use the zip system which uh, is a little green wooden wrap around there, really makes the house a lot stronger, more resistance to water, which water is the enemy of all homes. So I do like the fact they use that. You do have a dual vanity, a good size shower set up there, and I guess it took the tile work all the way to the top, which I always recommend because it looks so much better. There's your water closet, which I did check for that toilet seat, make sure it was down. What a good size closet. Once again, this is often a deal breaker to a lot of folks, but it's a really good size closet. I love the fact that you've got two different hanging spaces here, really maximizing the amount of clothes you could put in there. And that's a linen closet. Nobody cares about a linen closet. But if you're looking to move to this part of New Braunfels, uh, just on the other side of 35, you've got everything on the, like the Texas Hill countryside. You're so convenient to stuff. And if you're looking for a chiropractor, the reason I'm out here is my Max Living Chiropractor is literally just two miles down from here. Shout out to those guys. They're really awesome. Went and got an adjustment today and I figured I drove by here and I was like, hey, let's go shoot a video. So yeah, Max Living, check them out if you're new to the area and looking for a chiropractor. But I do like this home. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I absolutely love Chesmar Homes. All right, don't click off just yet because at the end of the slide, I'm gonna have all the community information, uh, more information about the homes that Chessmar has already completed and are desperate to get sold by the end of the year, which you only have like a week and a half left to get those under contract, to uh, get those like sideshow presentations done showing units moved for 2024. Because those after that, 
their care factor goes down a little bit and those prices might go back up again. So definitely don't hesitate on those quick moving homes. This is the time of year to get the best bang for the buck on it. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know somebody moving in the area, they're not already working real estate agent, feel free to share this video with them and tell them it's okay to reach out to me because guess what? Like I would say, these builders do not lower the prices if you don't use a real estate agent. So please don't, don't go through this process alone. It's okay to shoot a text to me and reach out. I'll be happy to help. All right, talk to you soon now. Take care. Bye.